Sure, my name is Damon Cook. I'm the Managing Director of eTourism Africa, which is an initiative working right across the continent to, de to develop online tourism. Uh, on two fronts, one is the enablement of legal e-commerce for governments so that uh, people are able to take payments online, but more critically working with both private and public sector to show them the potential of the internet and how they can use that better to sell their products um, and market their products. It's now the number one selling commodity online, and for seven out of ten travelers, it's their first port of call for travel research, and increasingly becoming their first port of call to book and pay as well, uh, because you get the complete solution online, from researching where you're going to go, to finding your supplier, to booking and paying for it. Um, so it's generating $110 billion in sales now. If you look at total online sales last year in America, uh, it was the number one uh, transaction was for tourism uh, at about 40%. And then if you look at the number two, which was home electronics, it was less than 10%. So it's it's completely owning that market. Generally, Africa hasn't been keeping up with that global trend. Um, you, you talk about that in the world, we're looking at about an average 48% of travel being distributed online. In some of key source markets for Africa, that goes up to about 70 to 80%. But in Africa, we're distributing less than 2% online. So there's a huge gulf between what's happening in the rest of the world and what's happening in Africa. I think the real challenge for a lot of Africa is because we're challenged in terms of connectivity um, and also we're rooted in these kind of old-fashioned sales and marketing models is that we're not looking at what's happening around the rest of the world. We're not consuming the media the way people are around the rest of the world. We need to see what's happening and realize that we need to start moving into that space or we're going to get left behind. Yeah, I have a website or I take a few bookings by email, so I'm in that space. But it's a lot more about that. It's about making a strategy to actually create an e-business for yourself. Are you actually able to represent your inventory in real time and have it bookable and payable online? Does somebody still have to interact with the person before you can complete a booking? You're sending them a quote or a reply. Um, are you getting all of your content out there online and using it to market yourself through new media? Can it be shared on other websites? Can it be shared with television companies and put on interactive television? Um, how many videos are being produced by your users and put out there um, through YouTube and other channels. So it's a much bigger picture than just having a website or taking a couple of emails. There's been a real shift generally in use of the internet towards video because um, it has obvious benefits. Now with increased bandwidth and affordability, people can actually consume video online a lot more. Um, if you look at the, what they call the net generation, people now aged between 11 and 31 who are the people that have grown up using digital. There's a shift away from conventional media, not just print but even television. Um, a lot of people are now starting to use interactive TV and they're getting their television content, their video content through the web. Um, so video is obviously incredibly important. It also transcends language barriers. You can communicate a lot more through video than you can uh, in pages and pages of text. Um, so it's a really strong tool. Uh, one of the things the internet's really done is opened up the ability to spread your content a lot further than before, where you had to just rely on placing an ad or trying to get an article or trying to get a story on television. People now have a lot more control over what they can do with their content. And there's really good tools out there if you've got high quality content that you can use to get it to a much broader audience and the way that people want it. And uh, South African Direct Television is a great example of that. You can get locally produced content at a really affordable rate out to a much wider audience than you ever could before, not just through your television, but also particularly through what you offer online.